Viva Fry supports Justin Trudeau. This is, I'm not blocking this because I don't like the message. It's, it's just stupid. These are, these are spam bots and I don't know how they work. Yesterday, there was a new one for Barnes and I've seen the one for Uncivil and the other one for Joe Nierman. And I don't understand the purpose. Anyhow, here we go. You see, look at this. Yeah, you're spamming. You're out of here. I think I've already blocked. Yeah, this, and it's multiple accounts that use my beautiful faces on an avatar. How dare you use my face to support Justin Trudeau? Like, who are you going to convince? In a corruption-free government, this wouldn't be happening. We spend all this time playing symptom management games, chasing our tails. They stall us so we can't work on the solutions that'll remove their powers at the source. Power at the source. Winning reality. Can't disagree with that. Um, but you know what? Actually, and just to reinforce it, just to reinforce it, let me just... Uh, let me just bring one up. I mean, you, you, you can't make this SHIT up. You could, but no one would believe you. Let's, it was a tweet from uh, Herr Trudeau earlier today. Okay, no, that was earlier. Da, 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 da. Here we go. Here we go. Nelson, this is Justin Trudeau lamenting the injustice of political prisoners. Nelson Mandela was a voice for, in, for, was a voice for justice that never faltered. And his lifelong commitment to peace, equality, and inclusion has inspired people all over the world. To honor his legacy, I have jailed Tamara Lich, an indigenous Metis woman. From Oh, I'm sorry. No, he didn't say that. He's To honor his legacy, let's continue to carry that work forward and build a better future for everyone. Hashtag Mandela Day. This coming from the guy. Where's my response? I know I responded. Why would my response not be right up there on my own Twitter feed. I know I responded. Where it, We're going, people. We're going. <laughs> this is what happens when someone loses legitimacy to rule because of their own corruption and their own um, lack of ethics. Where is my response, people? How far down are we going to go? We're going. We're going. We're going downtown, people. We're going to do this. I, I Did I skip it? I, people, sorry. This this has now become my stubborn uh, project, whether or not you all want to wait through this. Okay, I can't see my response. You son of a gun. All right, let me, just, let me just go back. Let me just go to my profile because I know that I responded. I know that I responded. Um... I'm going to get to my response. Here we go. There you go. I, I mean, I responded. Can't find it. I'm sure there's no down ranking or shadow banning or whatever. Whatever would account for the fact that I responded. My response has 89 retweets and it's not visible when you go and actually, when there, oh, now, now it's up there. What the, what the fudge? <sighs> Doesn't matter. And yeah, that's what Justin Trudeau is tweeting today because he's he's a man of the people. He's He's totally totally not racist despite all evidence to the contrary he's totally totally not a misogynist despite all evidence to the contrary jailing tamara lich a meti woman firing jody wilson raybould as minister of justice and attorney general who's an indigenous woman because she wouldn't follow his corrupt uh, demands uh groping a reporter way back in the day and apologizing for it he's obviously not a misogynist he obviously trusts the science, uh, which is why he compels quarantine of children due to their vaccination status. Um, he's uh, he's he's uh, celebrating the memory of Nelson Mandela while imprisoning political prisoners in Canada. And don't believe me. Don't believe me. Here is the story, people. Pat King. By the way, Tamara Lich is still in jail. Apparently, her her new hearing date is going to be um, J July 23rd from what I read, but I don't know, but she's still in jail. Jailed for two and a half weeks upon her arrest on February 18th. Finally granted bail with such onerous conditions uh, that it's actually just more like controlled imprisonment. Uh, and then was brought back on, uh, on a second attempt by the Crown to rejail her on a alleged non-com that wasn't granted. Brought back a third time for alleged non-com, non-compliance. Jailed. Back in jail. Right to jail. Yeah. 
Undercook the fish, straight to jail, right to jail. Overcook the chicken, right? It's the over under. Um, Tamara Lich back in jail because she took a picture with someone that she wasn't supposed to take a picture with. Pat King's been in jail for five months on mischief related charges. People are going to say, there's perjury in there too. He was in jail on mischief related charges, non violent criminal accusations, legally innocent because he hasn't been found guilty yet, unlike the sexual assaulter who was convicted and released from jail pending appeal, unlike that guy. Um, and again, don't trust me. Hold on. Trust but verify people. Hold on. Might not have been the best terms I, uh, here. I think if I throw that word in there, I'll get it. Here we go. Swim swam. Chat, not yet, sir. Chat, well, I don't care what the guy's name is. A formerly successful swimmer in the USA who represented Kenneth Yada Yada has been granted bail pending appeal of a 54 month prison sentence for that. Convicted after a trial, he's granted bail pending his appeal. Tamara Lich in jail. Pat King just got out of jail, but wait until you hear the terms on which he was released from prison. This guy was convicted of among the most heinous crimes known to, to people. Convicted, sentenced, granted bail pending appeal. Tamara Lich is in jail now for allegedly violating her bail terms, which consisted of a photograph with an individual and whispering something in his ear at a gala where she had just won an award. Pat King denied bail for five months. Oh, let, let's just see what the terms of his bail are actually. This is while we're here. Find term. The risk to the public safety if the applicant is granted interim release pending the determination of his appeal is low. Oh, oh my. The Crown concedes this point, she wrote. That's the judge. He is currently in a stable, committed, long-term relationship. Oh, unlike Tamara Lich, who's a freaking grandmother with a daughter, with a job, with a life. No, no, uh, nonviolent mischief charges. We, we see the two-tiered system. It's just, this, it's, 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 oh, he, so, someone, someone responded to a tweet of mine. You seem angry and it's someone sipping tea. Like anybody thinks, I mean, I don't even know who, who that appealed to. I thought it was a joke until I looked at the profile of the person. Uh, let's not confuse anger with well-justified political outrage. Yeah, I'm, I'm outraged. I am politically outraged and proud of it. Oh my goodness. Oh, that's going on a shirt politically outraged and proud. Uh, now I need, uh, if my uh, merch dude is listening. Uh, rest, let's do this. Politically outraged and proud. All right, let's talk about it. Pat King has been in jail for five months for mischief related charges. Denied bail, yeah, he went through lawyers. Uh, he went through lawyers for anybody who's using that as an excuse, probably because lawyers are being targeted now for harassment, uh, ethics complaints, and cancellation for representing some of these people. Keith Wilson, the lawyer for uh, Tamara Lich, uh, has magically seen ethics complaint filed against him by other lawyers out of Ottawa. No, no, no coincidence. I see my brother in the backdrop, so I'm going to bring him in in a few seconds right after I, I finish ranting. So Pat King's been in jail for a long time, and he's been going through lawyers. I might suggest he might be a difficult client. I don't know him personally at all. He might be a difficult client. It also might be a difficult environment for lawyers to operate in. People might just not want to take these cases because they know what might uh, happen in terms of harassment, cancellation, brigading, uh, baseless ethics complaints because it's happening. Pat King, an organizer for the Freedom Convoy that paralyzed downtown Ottawa for three weeks, paralyzed people. Go watch my streams. It paralyzed maybe the length of Wellington and four streets down, which is a, and by the way, paralyzed, but nonetheless had lanes open for any emergency vehicle that wanted to blast through at 70 kilometers an hour, as you saw live when I was down there. 
Wait until you see this. The decision was delivered in an auto, uh, an Ottawa courtroom Monday by Superior Court. Oh, I don't want to look like I'm naming judges. I don't like the proceedings. Uh, the proceedings were covered by a publication ban. King nodded as the judge's reasons were handed down, wearing a plaid shirt and his hair in a long braid. By the way, uh, the reasons of the judgment also publication ban. In the courtroom, supporters wearing T-shirts that said "Free Pat King" brought tissues to their eyes as the judge delivered her decision. London Weinstein said King will have to leave Ottawa in 24 hours to return to Alberta, where he will be required to live with a surety. Oh, he has been freed so he can be uh, put under house arrest, basically. Conditions of King's bail include a ban on social media and to refrain from taking part in activities related to the convoy. The ban on social media, I disagree with. This part, I can understand. King is forbidden from contacting other convoy organizers, including Chris Barr, uh, whatever, names, 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 unless in the presence of counsel. But even then, as Tamara Lich has learned, even then, right to jail. The day after, uh, yeah, yeah, okay, so the day after the April hearing, the Crown announced it was charging King with three counts of perjury and obstruction of justice. The latest accusation, yeah, yeah, yeah. So that, I mean, that is, uh, here we go. And uh, the previous charges included mischief, intimidation, obstructing police, and disobeying a court order. That, that, that five months in jail, right to jail, sexually assault a woman in an apartment building, get convicted and sentenced. You're in, he's in a long-term relationship. He'll be fine. He's, he's totally, totally trustworthy. So Pat King's out. Uh, and, and boy, howdy. How? 